Hello everybody, this is another tutorial. This time we are using the Simple Ducky Payload Generator to launch a payload on a Windows machine and get a shell back in Kali Linux. So we'll be using the Simple, the Simple Ducky Payload Generator and the USB Orbit Ducky for this tutorial. So I'll include a link in the description to get the Simple Ducky program and it's really quite nice. So we'll just load it up. So it loads very quickly, and as you can see, we're running version 1.1.1, and it gets updated quite often. And we're using the payload, I mean the encoder version 2.6. So for this tutorial, we'll be using a Windows reverse shell payload, but as you can see, you, you can use a ton of other options here. A bunch of other payloads, and more and more are being added. So let's just select two, and you get a bunch of them here. And this one's pretty powerful, these two. You can persist persistent shell, so you can always con connect back to it later. Uh, some PowerShell ones. And I think these have interpreter options as well. But for this tutorial, we're just going to use a very simple Windows for shell on Windows 7. So that's option number 6. And it contains the shell code within the payload itself, so you don't have to download anything. So let's load that up. And UAC is enabled on the machine. I think it's enabled on most machines, actually. And we want to send it to the IP address of the Kali machine you're using. So ifconfig, and you're going to get the IP address here. So you want to copy that, and paste that in. Oops. There we go. And let's just listen on the classic port 4444. And this is interesting here. So you want to set a second a delay in seconds, or milliseconds rather. And so I'm just going to set 5000. I've already ran this USB Ripper Ducky on my Windows machine multiple times before, so it doesn't have to install the drivers. But if you're doing this for the first time, you may want to set this higher. Uh, but I would just recommend plugging the USB Ripper Ducky first to get the drivers all set up and then use your USB Ducky with this payload. And you can also put this lower, but I'm putting it for 5000 right now. And so you can choose any keyboard you want. Well, not any. There are a ton of other ones available. But I'm just going to use Enter for the US keyboard. And so right now it's in creating it's creating the inject.bin file, which you place on the root of your SD card, which you load into your USB Rubber Ducky. So the payload has been created, and it's in the user share symbol Ducky. So we enter that, and we can actually set up a listener right in here. So since this is a normal shell, it's setting up netcat, and it's already had that set up. And so it already load, it loads up the directory where it's at. And so I'm going to copy this and inject up in right there, and place it onto the roots of my SD card. And I'm using USB to adapter to put this, in, put this into my computer. And if you want to get in virtual boxes, go to devices, USB devices, and flash disk, or whatever it's called. So now I'm getting the microSD card out. Okay, it's good out. Now I'm putting it inside my USB rubber ducky. Okay, it's in. And so remember, this is the netcat is listening for it. And there are also options to uh, hide the CMD command uh, prompt when it comes up, but I just uh, have this open so you can uh, see it in action. It's going to disable the firewall automatically. It's also going to connect back to that Kali machine. And as you can see here, I have a uh, Microsoft Security Essentials currently running, and it also has real-time protection turned on. So, but the shell will still connect. Sometimes it flags some interpreter payloads though, but I don't think it gets the uh, the best uh, payload reverse shell for Windows. Yes. So, here we go. Let's plug it in. Okay, just plugged it into my machine. Windows recognized it. So right now, this is a delay in action. It's going to pop up pretty soon now. Okay, there we go. CMD loading up. This is the UAC command. Yes. And see, just disable the firewall. Adding registry keys. And right now it's copying the payload. Again, you can hide this. And most of the other payloads don't take, you know how to copy all this much. But this one does. 
because again, this is the shell code inside the payload itself. So it needs to type all this, but it, again, it types pretty pretty quickly, as you can see here, much faster than a human could type. And there we go, it's all done. So you can now unplug it. I don't know how long that took, pretty quick though, less than 30 seconds, definitely. So now let's go back to our Rokali machine, and you can see right here, we have a shell. So you can do DIR, and you can see all the files. So I think this is the executable it ran. So there we go, we got a remote shell, undetected by the antivirus, and very, very quick attack. There are tons of other options and payloads you can run to, so keep exploring. I also do another Teensy video soon, which is has an even better attack, actually. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to leave a comment if you need help, and I will try to assist you. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.